So in this problem, we're shown uh, what appears to be a triangle. We've got a balloon in the upper left, an antenna in the lower left, and this military base in the lower right. And we're asked some things about the distances between them. And we're given some information. So I'm just going to write down the information we're given. It's always important to understand what exactly you're given and what exactly is being asked for. So one thing we're given is this angle, 57 degrees. Uh, you can see that right up here. Okay, another thing we're given is the distance between the balloon and the ground right here, 1.2 miles above the ground. So I'm going to label that on this graph. We're just going to call that 1.2 right there. And they want to know uh, the line of sight distance between the balloon and the military base. Okay, so I'm just going to call this X for no reason. I just like X. So in any SOHCAHTOA problem, that is basic right triangle trigonometry, you're given something, you're given a side, and you're asked for another side. And they usually give you an angle also. And what you have to do is you have to figure out which one of those SOHCAHTOA relationships uh, will help you out in this case. So if you think about SOHCAHTOA, remember what this is. So that means sine of an angle equals uh, opposite over hypotenuse. So if I were to take sine of 57 degrees, for example, sine of 57 degrees, that would be the opposite of 57. Now, where's the opposite of 57? Here's 57. The opposite is as far away as you can get. Um, and I don't know what we want to call that. It's not important because we're not given that side, this side over here, and we're not asked for it. So we see right away that sine of 57 is not what we want. I want something else. I want to know what's going to relate x to 1.2. Now, x is the hypotenuse, and 1.2 is adjacent to 57. So which one of these relationships is adjacent and hypotenuse? Well, it's not sine. Uh, you should think of co cosine. Ka, so ka toa, remember? So cosine of theta equals the adjacent over the hypotenuse. That means cosine of 57 degrees equals 1.2 divided by x. Now we've got an equation we can use. I want to know what x is, the line of sight distance between the balloon and the base. So in this case, all I do is I rearrange this to be x equals 1.2 over cosine 57 degrees. Okay, and that's the answer. Now you'll find in different versions of this problem, what they give you and what they ask for switch around all the time. Sometimes they'll give you the hypotenuse. Sometimes they'll give you the bottom leg. Sometimes they'll give you the side leg. Uh, you just go through the same method each time.